Hey, this is Brian B and Miss Megan, westcoastswingonline.com. We're talking musicality. We had a request to do a video on how to hit accents in music. So we picked a pattern that would hit an accent regardless of where we started in the music. Actually, a different pattern depending upon where we started. So the goal is that we need to accent the one. And if you have any questions about the general musicality, check out the website. There's a link somewhere, maybe up here, to my musicality course. But moving forward, if I need to accent the one, and I'm starting on the one in the music, we pick this pattern. So we would dance a one, two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight, oh, one, and be able to accent that one, right? If we do that one more time. So we're starting on the one in the music, one, two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight, here's my accent on the one, boom. Uh, we can hold for, put her back on two, three and four, five and six, and we've created something cool on the one, right? So again, we're gonna hit the one, but now we're starting on three, four in the music. So I'm gonna begin a whip, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, oh, one. So I extended the whip so I could get to a moment where I accented something and then we can walk her out and off we go, right? So we're not starting on the one, two in the music, but the three, four. If that's over your head, check out the link to my ultimate guide to musicality. Um, but if you're still with me, we're starting on the three, four of the music. So the music goes by one, two, we continue three, four, five, and six. We extend the whip, seven, eight, and we hit the accent on one. We hold for two, we walk around three, four, five, and six, seven, and eight. Now, what if we're starting on the five, six? We chose a pattern starting on the five, six in the music. So one, two, three, four is gone by in the music. We're starting five, six, seven, and eight, oh, one. We're gonna put her back for two, three, and four. We anchor five and six. So we did that again, starting on the five, six. Five, six, seven, and eight. I'm gonna take this over her head. We're gonna accent a one, put her back on for two. I'm gonna walk for three, four. She triples, three, four, and we anchor five and six. The final installment is if we're starting on the seven, eight, and people use this one all over the place because it's real simple. So let's just say the first six counts of the, of the music have gone by. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, and we're beginning on the seven, eight, right? Seven, eight, I'm gonna point, we're gonna continue over for one, put her back on for two, three, and four, five, and six, right? So we've gone one, two, three, and four, five and six, beginning on the seven, eight, seven, eight, oh, one. I went the opposite way, two, three, and four, five, and six. I actually like that one better. So, quick recap. If I'm starting on the one, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight. There's my accent, two, three, and four, five, and six. We'll do this from the reverse side. If we're starting on the three, four, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, butt shot, and <laughs> two. <laughs> Off we go, so you get the rear end. Then number three was, if we're starting on the five, six, five, six, seven, and eight, oh, one, right? So I'm able to be musical. Uh, we're gonna put her back on for two, we're gonna walk for three, four, we're gonna anchor five and six. And the final installment, if we're starting on the seven, eight, we have seven, eight, oh, one, two, three, and four, five and six. So there is a little bit of West Coast Swing musicality for you. If you want in more uh, uh, videos with more detail and depth, check out West Coast Swing. Hey, this Online. is Brian B with West Coast Swing Online and I'd like to introduce you to my ultimate guide to musicality. If you would like to improve your timing, learn to predict what the song is gonna do without ever having heard it, and then learn what to do once you identify those accents, then this course is for you. We have over 10 videos covering everything from musical timing to mapping of the music to uncovering the skeleton and the accents in the music, the critical timing within your patterns, and then a bunch of ideas of what to do when you actually find those accents. Um, we also have our four keys to better timing as a bonus. So I did a separate video just on a bunch of keys to improve your timing on top of the musicality. So if you're looking to improve your music musicality, I've got everything that you want in the ultimate guide to musicality.